I'm Ryan McAllister, Practical Farm Research Director. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the PFR Report. I'm here today with Dennis McCormick, Great Lakes Sales Manager for Capello, and he's going to be discussing the new multi-directional head that they have that we happen to be using in our 20 inch versus 30 inch on-farm study. So Dennis, why don't you tell us a little bit about the features that, that you're seeing here and uh, the way that can benefit a farmer. This is our new all row, all spacing head. And what this allows you to do is harvest corn in any direction, in any row spacing. Today we were doing corn at five and a half inches. We've done 20 inch corn, eight inch corn, 12 inch corn, 15 inch corn. It does not matter what your row spacing will. It will process without adjusting. You go right into the field and just harvest corn. If you're a custom harvester and having to do 20s, 22s, 15s, you now have one head that you can use to harvest all rows. And this head is a capello, so it's using our standard chopping unit. So you're getting that great chopping action, but also we now have a deck saver uh, deck plate on this that actually has a raised bevel to it. And what that does is it keeps the corn in the head rather than dribbling down on the ground. So even though this is a multi row head, in many cases, we'll shell less corn and leave less corn on the ground than many conventional heads. So not only is it gonna allow you to do all rows, but it's also gonna allow you to harvest more corn. Great, Dennis, appreciate that. Now, the question I would have then, um, you know, farmers have different combines. So some may have a deer, a case, a New Holland, a gleaner. Uh, what options are available for farmers with different brands? All of the John Deere, Case, Massey, Gleaner, and even the older combines, many of them, we have adapter packages to put this head directly on your combine by removing one mounting plate, putting on a separate one, which keeps it tight to the machine and allows it to operate flawlessly on almost any combine. Great. So we're gonna be using this multi-directional head in the 20 versus 30 study to be able to separate out those row widths. But you know, the most important thing is, are we losing yield? Is it able to really harvest different row widths without losing bushels? What's the harvest loss like? So we're gonna to go to the other end of our plot. We're gonna meet with Travis Burnett, the Indiana PFR agronomist, as well as Jason Gayheimer, who actually shelled this corn and get their observations on harvest loss. So while we're harvesting this little plot here, I was following the combine and um, overall I'm pretty pleased with uh, how the head's performing. So I decided that we were going to uh, measure header loss. A quick way to do that, you take uh, 10 square feet. I happen to have these little handy uh, squares here that I use for that. And uh, you measure off 10 square feet centered over each row and you count the kernels on the ground in that 10 square feet. Then you divide that by 20 and that gives you the number of bushels lost per row. Now you wanna do that across every row of your head to get a good average there. And uh, it just so happens here in this plot, in this area where I've, I've done this count, um, we're, we're roughly eight tenths of a bushel header loss, which we're fairly pleased with, uh, you know, with this head. And you know, on average, you're looking anywhere from half a bushel to a bushel header loss is, I guess what I'd call acceptable. So like I said, overall, pretty pleased with how the head's performed. Um, you know, from here, let's go to Jason Gayheimer. He was the guy who ran the combine. Let's get his perspective on how things look from the cab. I was very impressed on how the head feeds the corn in. Now there's a couple key things to that. Um, one of the things I noticed, if you get the head a little too low, uh, it, it tends to do a little more pushing than bringing the corn in. So when you're keeping the, the snout six, six inches to a foot off the ground, it does a really, really nice job of feeding the corn in. Um, it really excelled at an angle and crossways uh, would be my personal opinion on, on how it ran and performed the best versus going straight with a, a row spacing that it isn't actually set up for. The, the head's actually on 20 inch centers, uh, even though it can go all row any direction, um, but going crossways or diagonal seemed to do a really good job. Um, we had minimal header loss as Travis demonstrated uh, and visually from the combine, things looked really nice. We were really impressed uh, with our initial demo and what we're able to accomplish today. Uh, and we look forward to using it more in the future. We hope that provided you a tremendous amount of information on the Capello multi-directional head. We appreciate the partnership we have with Dennis and Capello and look forward to the results from our 20 inch versus 30 inch study as that PFR book arrives on your doorsteps in mid-December. Thanks for watching.